on my life. Hey guys, Aaron here and welcome back to the second live stream on the channel. Tonight we welcome Dundee to Tynecastle Park in a massive game in the Scottish Championship season opener. The team's just coming out of the tunnel just now, but before we get into anything else, I'm going to run you through the starting 11. So, starting goals for Hearts tonight is Craig Gordon, Michael Smith at fullback, then Jamie Walker, Ollie Lee, Liam Boyce, Jordan Roberts, Andy Irving, Stephen Kingsley, Craig Halkett, Mihai Popescu and Josh Ginelli, a very strong team from the men in Maroon. Craig Whiting, despite his hat-trick exploits in midweek, is dropped for this game, but to be honest, it's a little surprise given that Boyce is back from international duty. Now, for the Ds, former, former Jambo, Jack Hamilton lines up in goals, then you've got Kerr, then Jordan McGee, another former Hearts player, we've got Foster, Dorans, McGowan, Ashcroft, Robertson, Osman So starts up front after signing for the men from Dens. Interesting one that. Marshall and then probably the biggest high profile player in that team. It is number 26, Charlie Adam. Could be a very big signing for Dundee this season. It's going to be a very interesting game tonight. I'm sure if the fans were there, the atmosphere would have been absolutely rocking. But alas... The current pandemic situation is what it is, and it means we are all stuck at home watching the game. Now, I'm going to go into the chat and answer a couple of your questions. Ghosty Games says Granny Tom. <laughs> yes, Granny Tom, the hero of the Partick Thistle stream. Maybe she's tuning in for tonight's game. Mitchell Clark says, all right, mate, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Game is just about to kick off. The players are taking a knee in solidarity and they've just stood up back now and the game is about to get underway at Tyne Castle Park. Hearts versus Dundee, the first league game of this season. After 200 odd days, football is back in the league and I must say I cannot wait for tonight's game. Liam Boyce takes a kick off and we are underway. Hearts shooting towards the away end in the first 45. Now we've got on the ball already and the tackles went in. Jimmy Walker's got the ball on the edge of the box. However, he's out muscled and the ball is hoofed away into the stand. So we've got 30 viewers currently. That's a very decent amount so far. All right, guys. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. If you have any questions or want to get involved in the chat, feel free to put them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them. Rory McDonald asks, what is the game on? The game is on BBC Scotland. It is free to view. If you go to the BBC iPlayer, you can um, you can go and watch the game through there, or it'll just be on the BBC Scotland channel as normal. Aaron Rhinus or Aaron, if you say your name like me, you never know. Uh, who's your favourite player? I'd probably say Jamie Walker. All round good guy and a great player, and I hope that he gets back to full form and gets firing on all cylinders this season. Your day's been good. Good to hear it, Mitchell. Glad you've had a good day. Old fun prediction now. It's interesting, obviously because it's behind closed doors, you know, it's a very interesting encounter to call. I reckon it could possibly be a draw because they're two good teams. But can't each other out! Oof. First shot of the game goes wide from Gino Ginelli on the volley, however, it went wide of Jack Hamilton's right hand post. I'm an Aberdeen fan, I can tell by your photo, but back to the old firm. I reckon it'll be a draw. I think it'll be 1-1 because it's um, a big game. With no fans there, it'll be interesting to see how it pans out, but I do reckon that it is going to be a draw. You're an Aberdeen fan and Cove Ranger as well. You'll be enjoying League One this season, unlike Edinburgh City. Hello, Adam. Glad to see you tuning in. However, I'm not going to highlight your comment for obvious reasons, but I'm I'm well aware of the subject matter. I know exactly what I am. Craig Gordon kicks the ball up the length of the park towards Liam Boyce, who is outmuscled in the air. Goes down. Thought that might be a foul, to be honest, but play goes on. Perny Velo Club, you need to stand up so you can see a new t-shirt. It's a very good new t-shirt actually. I got it um, got it online. It's um, it's actually a Joy Division album, but it's um, got the Edinburgh Castle on it and um, it, I can't, you can't really see the back, but I'll, I'll try and turn around them. Um, it's got all the fixtures for the season um, on the back. It's a very snazzy shirt. I'll, I'll link, um, after the stream ends, I'll link where you can buy it in the description down below. So don't you worry. 
everybody will see where to buy my lovely new Joy Division Hearts t-shirt. Mitchell Clark says it's going to be 1-0 Hearts tonight. I'll be honest, I'd take that right now. Obviously, it's um, you'd rather like, we'd stick a few goals past Dundee tonight, but I do think that a tight game, I would take a 1-0 win. And if we won 1-0 tonight, I reckon it would be Jamie Walker to score the winning goal. Craig Scott with score prediction. Hmm. I reckon it would be 2-0 Hearts, maybe. Oof, ball is cleared away after a dangerous whip into the box on the left-hand side. I reckon it will be 2-0 Hearts tonight, Walker and Boyce to score. You take a 1-1 draw, but at the same time, Eddie and the Yeti are back. And very interesting indeed. Oop, Hearts on the ball. On the ball. Goal! Michael Smith scores! 1-0 the Hearts, 3 minutes in, and the Northern Ireland fullback wraps the ball into the back of the net. What a start for the Jambos. 1-0 to the men in Maroon. Come Ah, oh, football as well and truly back. Get in! I must say, I don't think Michael Smith will be the first goal scorer, but here we are. 1-0 to the men in Maroon. Jimmy Walker on the right-hand side got the ball out to the right back who then dribbled in field, played a lovely ball in. I thought um, we would have got a penalty when the boy went down, but Michael Smith on his weaker left foot slots the ball back into Flap Hamilton's bottom right corner. One it now to the Jam Tarts. Barely five minutes played and we're already got, we would have got Tyne Castle rocking. <laughs> However, <laughs> empty stadium, no fans. Oh well, who cares? The live stream's bouncing. One now to the Gorgie. Get in! Oh, delightful. That is, oh, yes. I, I wanted a fast start, and we got a fast start. Get in, man. Ah, oh, 1-0, Michael Smith. What a start. Great goal. I agree. Great goal for Michael Smith. Have you seen who Callum Patterson signed for? Yeah, he signed for Sheffield Wednesday, and I must say, Hearts got a sell-on clause was very nifty business indeed. I would agree. The atmosphere is fantastic at Tyne Castle. However, obviously no fans at the moment, but See when the fans get back in, it would be rocking. It would have been rocking tonight, I tell you. Oh my! Always because of everything that went on with Dundee in the summer, <laughs> I reckon that the atmosphere would have been absolutely bouncing tonight. Oh well, one note to the Jambos for the time being. A ball into the box sails well towards section end, and the ball is actually out for an offside call. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for any headphone users. Um, oh, it was a spider. Um, I kind of got a bit carried away there, but can you blame me? Really, it's Michael Smith scoring a goal. What's not to love? It honestly, there's actually a wee spider up here descending down. Boat. Try to watch the football here. My ears. <laughs> sorry. Honestly, I'm very, very sorry about your ears. I got a bit excited. I got a bit carried away, Mister Clear Plays. Jimmy Hogan. That's me, deaf now. Sorry. I'll, I'll try tone it down. Who am I kidding? I won't. <laughs> but um, yeah. <sighs> What a start, by the way. That is absolutely outstanding. You'll be enjoying League One next season. Mm-hmm. He will indeed. Some cracking away days. <laughs> really fancy buying one of those t-shirts. They're so cool. I would agree, Liam. Right? It's a fantastic piece of kit. And I'll be wearing this a lot more on stream in the future. Did you see Cove almost got something against Hibs? Yes, I did. I was actually watching that game. I thought Cove were a bit unlucky, but when Hibs brought on the big guns like Nisbet, like... They're obviously going to take control of the game from there, but it was some free kick to give them the lead at the Balmoral Stadium on that day. Your doctor was wondering how you became deaf, and you showed them this, and we became deaf together. <laughs> Outstanding. Honestly, any headphone users, I'm genuinely rather sorry that I've um, probably um, deafened you a lot, but I mean, I'm watching Hearts play. Come on, gives a little bit of a break. For Rangers fan, Hearts will come back up. I would hope I would hope we come back up, to be perfectly honest. We're, we're the best team in this league by miles. Strongest squad, you know. Anything other than winning the league this season, as Nielsen said, would be a failure. Where will we finish this season? Mr. Football Genix 77. I think we are going to win the league. It'll be Hearts. It'll be Maroon and White Ribbons on that championship trophy come the end of the shortened season. Quick reminder for anybody who was a bit late to the stream about the starting 11s. One second, I'm just going to um, take away the question that's been highlighted for Hearts to start an 11 as... Ooh, where's my team lines going? There we go. Craig Gordon, Michael Smith, Jimmy Walker, Ollie Lee, Liam Boyce, Jordan Roberts. Hang on. Hearts are on the attack here. 
Jordan Roberts, I'll say his name, he is on the ball on the left-hand side, plays it back to Stephen Kingsley, who whips it into the back post. Unfortunately, nobody's really there, but it comes back out to Gino Ginelli, who whips the ball into the box again. Unfortunately, the ball goes to Dundee Football Club. Offside, I think, or maybe a foul, I am not entirely sure. But anyway, back to the Hearts team, and the Irving, Stephen Kingsley, Craig Halkett, who's captain of the boys in Maroon tonight, Mihai Popescu and Gino Ginelli. As for Dundee, their team is former Jambo Jack Hamilton. Then they've got Kerr, McGee, another former Jambo. Excuse me. Um, Foster, Dorrance, McGowan, Ashcroft, Robertson, another former Jambo and Osman. So then Marshall and number 26. The big name signing of the summer for the Dark Blues is Charlie Adam. Back into the chat. Zani says, I like to speak it, you beautiful man. Hello, Bailey. How are you doing? Glad you're in the stream and hopefully enjoying yourself. And hopefully you joined them um, a little bit later so you never got deafened by me um, <laughs> celebrating Michael Smith's opening goal. Honestly, fantastic start. Couldn't have asked for anything better, really, from Hearts to really bring this game to life in an empty time castle. Lee into Ginelli. Would have thought that we'd have got a foul. But anyway, went to Michael Smith, who wrapped it into the bottom left-hand corner. <sighs> Brilliant. I love it. It's so good having Hearts back. Even though we can't be in the stadium, it's just fantastic to see Hearts back playing football in the league at time castle. Best Hearts player you've ever seen? I have to say, I'm going to have to go with Rudy Scatchel. Um, best midfielder I'll see in my lifetime. Probably the best that Hearts have had in an awful long time. Rudy Scatchel, so Rudy. I mean, the goal speaks for himself. Absolute legend of the game. I can't highlight a comment, Bailey, but I would too. Where do you think Rangers will finish in the league? I reckon you'll finish um, second. I don't think... I know you're still a very good team this year, but to be honest, I can still see Celtic winning the league and getting 10 in a row. Unfortunately, I think they will um, they'll get the job done this season. I do think that they will end up winning the league once again. <laughs> I know, Bailey. Family friendly, got to, keep it, got to keep it PG on here as best as we can. Anyway, back to the game. Kerr's got the ball for a throw-in on the right-hand side of the park. Puts it along towards Osmond so with Stephen Kingsley. Easy as you like. Easy. Just shepherds the ball out of play. And Craig Gordon collects it for a Hearts goal kick. I must say, I've been very impressed with Stephen Kingsley since he signed. Quality signing it on a free as well. On a free. Fantastic business. Although, with Ben Caruccio leaving, that leaves him and A.D. White as the only real out-and-out left-backs at Hearts. Personally... I reckon the reason we've kept White is because I suspect due to his injury-prone past, he'll be on that pay-as-you-play contract. So I don't think White will be on too much money. And Garuccio, who actually signed for um, a team in Australia today, he's finally got himself a new club after not very long at the door at Tyne Castle. He's back in Australia already. Fair play to the boy. But I do think that because White will be on a low-wage ball into the box, not dealt with, comes back out to Jordan Roberts, who is doing some quick feet on the left-hand side. And a bit of Hearts corner, surely? Up, oh, it's a goal kick. Surprising, but I think AD White would have been a pretty low amount of money. And obviously, Gruccio would have been um, on a much higher wage. So I reckon that'd be why it would have suited both parties to get him out the door. Obviously, Nielsen said he won't get any regular game time. So, fair enough. Hope it works out for him in Australia. Where do I think Hibs will finish? I reckon they could possibly get fourth. I think they'll get fourth in the league. Hello, Mr. HM7HD. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Bailey's away. Got you after, mate. And um, hello to Scotty Boy as well. Who'll finish top three in the championship? I reckon it'll be Hearts in first, um, Dunfermline in second, and Dundee in third. It's a very tight league, a very short league as well, due to the um, shortened season. But I do think that um, that'll be the top three in the championship this season. There's um, a few, there's not many um, action going on in the game just now, so they're showing the cardboard cutouts. Fantastic. What we all want to see. Charlie Adam kicks the ball long. Dundee are on the attack now, to be fair. They're probably making their first season um, outing of the game. Back in their own half now with Kerr. Uh, they've just decided not to attack, as I've said that, to be honest. I don't mind that at all. Did I buy my mic from Asda? Um, no, I did not. Personally, I think it's an alright mic, but each to their own. Eh? Dundee on the ball now, away by Stephen Kingsley. Get in! He has been superb so far. Thank you very much, Mitchell. I really appreciate that feedback. Obviously, um, a lot of folk are going to be watching the game tonight, so not as many folk in the, sc 
stream, the stream as the Partick Thistle game, but it's to be expected when the game's like free to view. I do appreciate everybody that's came onto the stream for tonight's action. And Charlie Adam is visibly raging that Hart's been given a goal kick. Some um, expletives from the, the rather large, bald man in the white shirt. And he boots it back to Craig Gordon in frustration. Hello, McGonagall. How are you doing? Hope you're enjoying the stream. I also echo the sentiment of your comment. Hello there, Leanne. How are you doing? Hope you're enjoying the stream. Ball is kicked long towards Janelli. And it's... Um, a way out for a Dundee thrown in front of section N, full of cardboard cutouts. It's almost on the 15 minute mark. Hearts won Dundee now a fast start. However, the game is um, died down now. Walker with a crunch inside and challenge right on the touchline. I must say, Walker, I feel if he gets a really good season under his belt, he'll be a very, very good player in the championship this season. Thoughts of being in the Wii League. We don't want to be here. It's not fair how we got put in here. That's a handball, surely. Apparently not. But um, but we're here now. We've got to get back out of it as soon as possible. And we've been a pretty decent start towards doing that tonight. McGonagall says, give us another month. I reckon we pumped on these 6 too. I wouldn't mind that tonight. Charlie Adam lines up a shot. What a save by Craig Gordon. That was a stinging drive from Charlie Adam. Whipped it from the edge of the D. However, the... Scotland international as Craig Gordon was equal to the strike from his former international teammate. Vicious drive, however. Gordon got over to make an excellent stop from Dundee's number 26. Oh, excuse me. I shouldn't have drank fizzy juice on stream. It's not a very good idea. You were going to donate, but there's no donate button. I've not really like, thought about setting up a donation thing, to be honest. It's not really like, crossed my mind before. Get it out, get it out. Good, good. Thankfully, the ball is away. I've never really thought of doing donations before. Oh, that's an attack. Ref, come on. That is surely a foul. Elbows right up on his puss. But yeah, I've never really thought of, like setting up donations. It's like it's not something that I've considered as of yet. How does it feel not being able to go to a Hearts game? I'll be honest, not very good. I would love to be at Ten Castle like, cheering on the boys, but obviously that can't happen due to... The circumstances, old fun predictions, I said it earlier, Connor, I reckon it'll be a 1-1 one, one draw. Granny Tom should be playing, yes. Granny Tom has to be playing in tonight's game. Besides, I thought she was going to score an overhead kick against Partick. That never happened, come on. We need to get a scoring one as soon as possible. On Live on stream as well, why not? Why not at all? Craig Gordon has now got the ball in his hand. He throws it out towards... The goal scorer, Michael Smith, the Northern Ireland fullback, who hits it along up the line towards nobody in particular, to be perfectly honest. And the ball makes its way to the Dundee keeper, Jack Hamilton, who launches it right up the park towards Osmond. So he gets out jumped by Mihai Popescu, and the ball's put back up in the air. I must say it's been a pretty cagey game so far, but Jimmy Walker's on the ball. Walker breaking. He shoots. Mm, speculative effort from Jimmy Walker there from the Hearts number seven, but I've got a corner at least, you know. That's a bit of a positive from that passage of play. JWHD says, into them. Yes, correct. Into Dundee. Get right into them. Best player Scottish football has seen. Pff, well, there's been a few. There's been a fair few. Obviously, you've got the likes of your Larson, your Loudrops. Like, there's been a lot of good players. Andy Irvine drives into the box, but hoofed clear towards the dugouts. But yeah, probably one of those two. There's been a fair few good players, but the ones that spring to mind immediately have to be either um, Larson or Loudrop. Rejoin Jetski at centre-back. Been a good four months, but Terry Ackett is back. That is good to hear, Adam. You know, we've missed your presence on pro clubs. We really have. Are you glad Walker got his number seven back? I reckon, yeah. I reckon it's good he got his number seven back. Because to be honest, JW10 <laughs> just didn't look right. And to be honest, I reckon if Bozic never had number seven last season, Walker had taken that as soon as he came back to the club. But, JW7 is now back in the building, and I must say, I am rather glad that is the case. Thoughts on Scotland, Czech Republic? We got the job done, that's all we can say, and I must say, I will take those 1-0 um, those ground-out scorelines every single day of the week, as long as Scotland continued to win games. Roy Keane, but he didn't really do too much up here, did he? Like, obviously, you can like point to the standard of player, but he didn't really do much of note up in Scotland that I can remember. Walker whips it into the box. It's um, 
headed away back to Jordan Roberts, who is oh, miles offside. And the ball is now going back to Dundee for a set piece once again in front of section N. That line was a bit of a beef on. Oof, yeah. You're a Leicester City fan and a Hearts fan too. Decent choice of teams, to be honest. If I were still you, I'd still be celebrating the Premier League title almost five years ago now, which is mental. Uh, honestly, it's just ridiculous like how fast the times went since Leicester won the Premier League. It only seems like it was yesterday, but as I said, it was almost five years ago, which is ridiculous. Harry Kane staying at Spurs? I'd expect so. I don't think he would be going anywhere else. I was disappointed if I found a career. Jeez, so. Check for what deserved the win. Aye, well, they deserved it. You can say they deserved it all they want, but they never got it. Scotland got it. So, that'll do. That'll do me nicely. As I said, those 1 0 score lines, you'll take them every single day. <sighs> Free order, by the way. <sighs> of the week. Hearts back in possession of the ball. However, Dundee have got it back, and Osman So, who is clattered by Craig Halkett, won the ball fairly cleanly, though. And now Walker is at Jub 1 past the halfway line. Gets it out to Stephen Kingsley, who is now given the ball to. Jordan Roberts, who drifts in field, plays it back to Mihai Popescu, who gives it to Stephen Kingsley, who's flicked the ball on. Kingsley's got the ball again, he whips it into the box, and a flat Hamilton's gloves, he spills the ball, but unfortunately, nobody was there to hoover up that half chance. Which one club would you consider to be Hearts' direct rival in Scottish football, i.e. main challenger for best of the rest, and who do I honestly consider to be the third largest club in Scotland? Well... We can't really talk about Hearts being our best of the rest challenger right now. I mean, we're in the championship, but Liam Boyce in the ball. Boyce! Oof, what a save from Flap Hamilton. I've been slagging him off, but he's made a decent save there, to be honest. But I reckon when, you, when we're back in the Premiership, to be honest, Aberdeen are probably still the benchmark and pushing to be the best of the rest outside the old firm. Who do I honestly consider to be the third biggest club in Scotland? Hearts, no question about it. Even in the championship, we are the third biggest club in this country by a fair distance. Bale stays Tottenham. Um, I mean, he's only on loan, but I can see him making his move permanent if his time under Jose Mourinho is a success. Czech Republic missed four open goals. Pff, I know, dodgy from them, but they never scored them. Happy days. Do you have FIFA 21? Yes, I do have FIFA 21. I'm not very good at it. But I still have a game. Nonetheless, I was getting very annoyed at it early on today, so I've been on in a couple of hours. Granny Tom is better than Pele. Yes, I echo that sentiment. Granny Tom is, of course, better than Pele. Best player in the history of football, if you hadn't heard already. Dundee on the ball, and they whipped it in. And it's the fight out for a corner. Is it a corner? Yeah, it's a corner. I thought so. Hearts shaping up defensively to deal with the latest. In the swinger from Mr. Adam. But after a pretty fast start, to be honest, the game's been pretty cagey since then. But as long as we get three points, I'm not particularly bored about how the game pans out. Adam whips the ball to the back stick. It's headed across goal. And it's a free kick to Hearts. Who is your favourite ever Hearts player? That'll be Sir Rudolph Scatchel. Absolute legend. Of the club. Wonder what the foul was actually given for. I think it might be a push in the back. He's the hard oh, to pull the jersey. To be fair, yeah, that's fair. That is definitely a free kick for Hearts. Craig Gordon is set to launch the ball upfield. It would appear. I think he did. Gordon has hit the ball up towards Liam Boyce, which seems to be a tactic so far. Just aim for Boyce and hope for the best. Hamilton rolls it out to Lee Ashcroft, who's slowly but surely advanced and he clips the ball past the halfway line. It's easily won by Andy Irving. Sporting number 19. I must say, Andy Irving wearing number 19. He's taking Rudy Scatchel's number. And hopefully Andy Irving can go on to do it. That number 19 shot justice. Pepescu. Foy! Oh, that's a late challenge. That's a disgusting challenge from the Dundee player on Mihai Pepescu, who's crumpled on a heap on the deck. That's a very late one. That gives me, um, that reminds me of the one that Kenny Miller took in the old film a couple of years ago when it got absolutely wiped out. 
and rightly so, he has been booked for that effort. Honestly, he was going to go for the ball and it's got absolutely clattered. Very late challenge. No way that, that, that Doran should have went in for that that late. And Popescu's been absolutely smashed. And Graham Dorans picks up the first booking of tonight's game. Your least favourite Hearts player ever. Hmm. Danny Swanson, because he done nothing at Hearts when he was at St Johnston. All he done was score screamers against us. So my least favourite Hearts player ever is Danny Swanson. You'd agree and say that Aberdeen are the third largest for a number of reasons. You're a Dons fan, but you enjoy the channel. Good luck this season. Thank you very much, Mickey. All the best for your upcoming season as well. However, I would still say that Hearts are the third biggest in Scotland. But obviously, you're entitled to your opinion. And I get fair enough. If you think your own club are the third biggest, you're still a big club in Scottish football. And obviously, you've had your European runs in the past. That's fair enough. Jimmy Walker. Walker is free as a bird. Being down on goal. Walker whips it in. Oof, yeah. And it is now a corner to Hearts. Do you think we'd have went down if COVID wasn't a thing? Mm. I think we would have just em- just enough Dutch, I can't speak tonight we have just about managed to steer ourselves away from relegation trouble and it would appear that Hearts are set to whip the ball into the box for another corner kick, Jamie Walker is just about to receive the ball from the player that's rolled it towards him and it's set to be another ball into the box for the boys in Maroon Jamie Walker 24th minute, both hands in the air, whips the ball into the box. It comes back to Ginelli. Ginelli shoots, scores! Two number hearts! Josh Ginelli with a thunderbolt! Get in there! Oh, head for more and again. I am so, so sorry. But it's 2-0 to Hearts. 24 minutes on the clock at Tynecastle. And Josh Ginelli wraps it into the bottom corner from the edge of the box. Walker fired it in. The initial effort and was clear, but it came back to the Hearts number 30, who had some quick feet for the edge of the box. And he just hits it hard and low into Flap Hamilton's bottom right-hand corner. Let's see another replay. Should he have made the save? I don't know. Let's see. Mm, he could have saved that, to be honest. That was pretty close to his outstretched right glove, but who cares? Hart and Lothian 2, Dundee FC 0. Come on! That is what we love to be seeing. <sighs> Absolutely lovely stuff. Danny is a heavy. Mm-hmm. He is a Hibs fan indeed. Hello, Hawk. Glad to see you are enjoying the stream. <laughs> Mind your ears, everyone, from Perrin the Velo Club. Apologies for that. Headphone warning once again. I'm getting carried away. I know, I know, I know. Can you blame my excitement? Hearts are winning 2-0 in tonight's massive clash at Tyne Castle Park. 26 minutes into the game. And it's Hearts 2. Dundee now. What a goal. Yes, Aaron, I would agree. That is oh, brilliant. 2-0 to the JTs. Yes. Just to start we wanted. 25 minutes into the match. And Hearts have got itself two goals to the good. And we couldn't have asked for a better start to this game. And obviously, it's a long way to go, but we're doing pretty well so far. Dundee are now in possession of the ball. Charlie Adam advancing forward. Charlie Adam is still going. Charlie Adam. Charlie Adam. Oh, yeah. What a goal. And Dundee have made it 2-1. Charlie Adam with an absolutely lovely solo goal. Oof. Right. Credit where credit's due. That's a pretty good goal. I'll have to give him that. Charlie Adam is absolutely cheesing with that effort, and to be honest, if I was him, so would that. He took the ball from just past the centre circle and dribbled in past one, two, three players and hammered it into Craig Gordon's top left-hand corner. To be honest, nothing we can really do about that. That is some finish from the, the Dundee number 20, what, 21, 26, and it's now 2-1. This game is not over yet. Dundee have got himself right back into this encounter at Tynecastle Park. And Michael Smith's now... Oh, Michael Smith's now in the deck. This is concerning. I don't like seeing Michael Smith injured because when Michael Smith's injured, Osman so has went into the book. I don't think I've seen the challenge yet, but I'm guessing it might be a pretty late one from Dundee's number 21, the big lanky striker, going in late on the Hearts full back. Let's see a replay of this incident. Oh, 
Oh, that's nasty. Osman so really leaving the footing on Michael Smith. He's getting a treatment for the physio. He should be okay, but that is nasty from the former heart striker. <sighs> Shouldn't be putting that sort of challenge in, honestly. Have a word with yourself, Osman. Have a word. What do you think my game will be the score? Your game. I'm not sure what game you're on about, but for argument's sake, I'll say 2-0. Honestly, I expected a better from Osman, so going in late on Michael Smith there, it's pretty disappointing to be honest, but he's back on his feet now, he seems to be okay, and Hearts are now back on the ball for a free kick in their own half. Craig Halkett plays that across to Mihai Popescu, who puts that to Stephen Kingsley. Oh my god, sorry, honestly, right? I'm not going to drink physician stream again. It's not a very good idea. Do you think I'm allowed to be weird slash whiskey at 3.20? The wife is fast asleep. Mate, it's five o'clock somewhere. Get wired in. Moon the DJ bam. No. Come on the boys in maroon. Ball into the box and it's put away by Dundee. Hammered into the stand once again. However, Dundee are back in possession for the section end. Charlie Adam intercepted by Jamie Walker. Hearts are in. Walker. Walker. Oh, it's deflected back. To Roberts, boys, ah, why did I post, why did I post, unfortunate, should have made that chance count to be honest, we need to stick them away before, done, before Charlie Adam gets any ideas again and goes another one of his solo runs, so yeah, Hearts 2, Dundee 1, a very open encounter, I must say, after um, my earlier comments that the game was cagey, it really exploded into life in that few minutes when Janelli first found the corner and then Charlie Adam, just done Charlie Adam things and single-handedly dragged Dundee right back into this game. It's an interesting encounter under the floodlights in Gorgie so far. Hooked long towards Liam Boyce, however. Dundee will deal with it. Jack Hamilton comes out with his goal and collects it rather calmly, which is uncharacteristic for Jack Hamilton, to be perfectly honest. Dundee hit the ball long now towards Michael Smith, who then hoofs it into the main stand. So, just about to reach the half-hour mark in this game. Hearts 2, Dundee FC 1. A decent game under the lights at Tyne Castle Park so far. Have you ever heard of a team called Arvin Meadow? I have actually heard of a team called Arvin Meadow. I'm guessing you play for them. I reckon it'll be... I reckon, as I said, Arvin Meadow will get your win. And I hope, for your sake, that they do. Jim Walker goes down under a challenge from Charlie Adam, who, once again, protests his innocence. But to be honest, he went in pretty heavy on the hearts number seven and, as a result, gives away a foul. Half an hour has now passed. Oi, Baldy, stop moaning. Hearts to Dundee FC 1. Hearts preparing to launch yet another set piece. Hopefully out towards the halfway line, Andrew Irving. Plays the ball, it's intercepted by Charlie Adam, who's running past the dugouts, goes down, and to be honest, that was a foul. That was a foul from Janelle, to be perfectly frank. And now Dundee, it's been a pretty stop-start game where the fouls have been getting committed all the time. Charlie Adam fixing his laces before he prefers to whip another dangerous ball towards the Hearts defence. Mitchell says cheers. Mitchell, no bother at all. Charlie Adam plays the ball to the left-hand side. However, Liam Boyce happily sees it out for a goal kick. So, um, fire your opinions down below in the chat. Um, what do you think of the game so far? Do you think um, who's in the better team? Who, what do you think the full-time score will be? Obviously, I never predicted it would be three goals in the opening half an hour. But it's a pretty end-to-end -end game so far. But yeah, fire your predictions based on what you've seen so far for the full-time score in the chat below. Hearts now back in possession. Ball playing towards Stephen Kingsley, who's rampaging in the left-hand side. Kingsley whips it to the back stick. Unfortunately, it is headed away for a Hearts throw-in. Ball quickly thrown back in towards Gino Ginelli, who then plays it to Jamie Walker. Hearts number seven back on the ball. Jelly with quick feet goes down. I thought that was a foul, to be perfectly honest, but Hearts still retain possession. It is now played. Ah, unfortunately, that attack fizzles out. And the Dundee defence get the ball clear. Mitchell Clark. Pen. Is it a penalty? Well, my stream's slightly behind, so I can't really see what's going on. So if like if you can like refrain from like putting the game into the chat, that'd be appreciated because to be honest, like I'm slightly behind. So like I'm not seeing the game like just as you do. So if like the score comes up, fair enough. Can you please like just not fire it into the chat because I kind of uh, watch the game as live. So yeah, 
I would appreciate if you don't pop a score into the chat because people can check for themselves. And I don't want any spoilers because, um, yeah, I kind of want to see the game as it's going just now. But um, if there's a penalty, I don't know if it's went in yet or not. So, yeah, don't spoil it, please. Thank you very much. Hearts now in possession of the football. Stephen Kingsley looking comfortable in possession, as per usual. Plays out to Jamie Walker. Ollie Lee on the left-hand side of Nevada. Advanced position. Boyce is it on goal. Handball! There's your penalty! Right, OK. Kill, kill. Penalty to Hearts. Liam Boyce forces a handball. But, yeah. Hopefully we've scored it. I don't know yet. But, as I've said, if you are... Um, if you're slightly ahead of me, please don't spoil the game because I don't want anybody to um, have the scoreline spoiled for them either. It would appear to be Liam Boyce who's running away to collect the ball from the Gorgate stand to take the penalty. Pretty deserved spot kick, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, he's went up with his hand. Come on. You have to be, you have to be given that as a penalty. Liam Boyce is standing over the ball. Rifles as a whistle, Liam Boyce scores! 3-1 to the Hearts, that is what we love to see. 3-1 to the Hearts, this game is looking pretty decent so far. Penfridge ITs, happy days, handball, 3-1, mm-hmm, getting them all in as you like. 3-1 to the Gorgate, Liam Boyce sticks it away. 3-0, I think it's 3-1. Louis Shields says, OK, no bother, mate. Thank you very much. Hearts should walk this week. Yes, Aaron, I agree. Hearts should be absolutely cruising this week. Liam Boyce with a composed finish in the bottom right-hand corner. And it is 3-1 to the Hearts, 34 minutes in to this Scottish Championship fixture. Boyce gets off the mark for the season. His first goal in the number 10 jersey. Howard Lothian, 3, Dundee FC 1. Happy days, honestly. That's a relief to get that goal because, to be honest, I was fearing that Dundee were going to get back into the game. However, Liam Boyce has hopefully, hopefully put tonight's game to bed with that cool, calm and collected penalty into the bottom right-hand corner. Janelli advances and the ball goes out for another Hearts corner. It's on BBC Scotland. Thank you, Frankie. If anyone is also wanting to watch the game, you can find it on the BBC Scotland channel. Roberts with a dangerous looking attack. However, it kind of, yep, whips it in for a throw in, I think. Yep, a throw in, two hearts. <sighs> one Albert kid. Shut your puss. Shut your puss, Andy. 3 1 at a hearts now, and to be honest, that is all that matters to me. Is that hearts are getting it to the three points, hopefully, in tonight's Scottish Championship opera. Hearts set to have yet another set piece launched towards the Dundee area. Walker, he whips it in. Oh, he's going to fall, is it? Ah, unfortunately, Halgood couldn't quite stab it home. But it falls up to Ginelli, and that's a wild, wild effort into the away end. Do you support an English team? Mine is Newcastle. I do indeed. I also like Newcastle over in England. They are the team that I follow down South. And Bud is now watching the action from the main stand. And I must say, should we pretty impressed what we've seen so far? And I must say, I'm pretty happy with how Hearts are doing right now. Three were up against the, our biggest title challengers. And I must say, I'm rather content with the boys and maroons. First half showing so far. Are you keeping the hair like that? Um, yeah, I will be. I have to grow all this dye out. So until um, until it grows out. The bond will be staying for a little while yet. I know that you're a Hearts fan. A lot of people know I'm a Hearts fan. So do I. But yes, I'll be um, keeping my hair like this for the foreseeable future because this blonde will take an absolute age to grow out. Hopefully, we'll do like the end of the year, maybe. We'll just have to wait and see. Just approaching the 40 minute mark, and Charlie Adam, not Charlie Adam, sorry, Osman So slips over in front of the Dundee technical area. And he's trying to steal yard. Typical Dundee. Trying to change your mind about absolutely everything. And on the left-hand side, looking pretty dangerous so far. However, Michael Smith gets stuck in and rattles the ball off the pitch. Takes it off Paul McGowan with a lovely sliding challenge. And he, oh, no. 
Smith's down again. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Oh, I really, really hope that Michael Smith can stay injury free this season. He's one of the best players that we've got and we need to keep him fit. I really just don't want any... I've had enough injury troubles for last season. This would not be a good look at all. What is your dream job? My dream job is to be a sports journalist. I want to work in the football media industry. And then... Um, Hopefully that can um, hopefully that can be um, realised in future. I'm in my final year of school just now, and the plan is after that to um, to go to university and study journalism. So here's hoping if everything works out, I can end up doing that and hopefully get my dream job. It's a long way to go, take a lot of hard work, but there's nothing I'd love more than to be a sports journalist. Hamish Anderson says it's highly of the years being in the St. Johnson vlog. Cheers, man, appreciate that. Pretty decent away day. It's a shame we couldn't get the three points on that particular occasion because you never know that could have been massive towards helping us stay up but bygones are bygones and we're in the championship now Michael Smith is thankfully still on the park he's just bodied a Dundee player to the deck in front of Craig Gordon which we love to see really I forgot to subscribe to you get subscribing mate do what you need to do join the fun join the fun on the channel if you want to follow my social medias you can um, you can do so once I get my brand tab sorted out you can follow my twitter at wait one second off the to point towards it at wait this is more difficult than you think there we go you can follow my twitter at aaron fraser 37 and my instagram account is at we are the gorgate boys so if you get at me on my social medias feel free to do so via those links the tiger man says that will happen i can see being a sports journalist on to me i appreciate that an awful lot thanks a lot and Hopefully I can make my dream a reality. What uni? Not too sure. There's a couple of unis that offer it. I know um I know Edinburgh Napier offer it. Although um also um I've seen Sterling do it and um some in Glasgow do it too. But it all really depends on what happens in the next half a year or so when I'm still at school. But I don't really mind which one I go to. Preferably actually preferably Edinburgh, so it's local. But whatever I have to go to reach my dream job, I will happily go there to study. Louis Shields, I subscribe to you. Top class, mate. I'm glad that you've joined the fun. Michael Smith on the ball has played it out towards Liam Boyce on the right-hand side. However, his first touch is an absolute trampoline and it's went out of the play for a Dundee throw-in. Almost a butch in half-time here at Tynecastle Park. Hearts 3, Dundee 1, a rather fast start from the Jam Tarts. And I must say, that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, great tackle for Mihai Popescu. Lovely crunching challenge. Leave it in there. Hope it comes to you, pal. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. Open a can of Tiger beer. <laughs> on you go, Hawk. You're in the sesh. And I'm on the Iron Brew. Wouldn't have it any other way. And Andy Mount says, stick in the chat. You got the chat. And lust for the game. Aye, thank you very much. Sterling first. Well... You never know where I end up. If I end up at Sterling, I end up at Sterling. But I appreciate that, Andy. Thank you very much for the positive feedback. I'll certainly be doing my best to make that dream, hopefully, a reality. The course is for like four years, so it's a significant amount of time to commit. But I do think that with a lot of hard work, I could hopefully get there one day. <sighs> Ollie Lee goes up and wins a header excellently. Into Andy Irving, Jordan Roberts, whips the ball into the back stack. Oof. Could have been a dangerous chance for Hearts, who have been making lots of chances in this game. Ollie Lee, Kingsley, Oof. just wide of the post. Unlucky. However, it's another set piece for the boys in Maroon. Stephen King's been an excellent player in this first half, I must say. I'm very glad we've got him on board, and hopefully... If he stays injury free, we can extend that one year contract to get Kingsley back up to the Premiership because he'll be an excellent player. An excellent player to have in the Scottish top flight. Hopefully, once we get back there at the end of this campaign. And the Irving is standing over at the free kick and is set to hit the ball into the box. It's headed away by number three, Jordan McGee. Back to Irving. Walker, the headband hula. Dinks the ball into the back stack. Hamilton claims it for the first time ever in his life. It still stays at Hearts 3, Dundee FC 1. 
Luis thinks the Hearts are going to be the first team in the league. I'll be honest, I think so too. I hope so too as well. Realistically, we should be winning this league at Acanta. However, it is the championship. It's not an easy league at all, but come on, with the strength of squad we have, we really should be winning this division. No questions asked. And hopefully smashing teams along the way. Hearts get the ball out for a throw-in. Still attacking the away and still creating chances as the first half is drawing to its conclusion. Jamie Walker is in no rush to go and get the ball from the cardboard cutouts and hopefully somebody goes and gets one soon because we've been waiting for a rather long time to get the ball back in play. Mick Smith now stands over the ball and is ready to launch a throw-in in typical Michael Smith style. If anyone shows for him, that is because it would appear no one wants to move. Liam Boyce now has the ball by the right-hand corner flag. Back to Smith. That's surely a foul. Hmm. Personally, I thought it was a foul there, but Dundee get the ball. And they're now trying to launch an attack off their own from the heart half. Kamiker plays it back to Jack Hamilton. And he's set to launch another ball forward, I think. Oh, nope. Another foul. It's been a very, very... Um, <laughs> Um, stop start game with all of the stoppages. Do you think Aaron Hickey will have a good career? Yes, I do. I think he's got the talent and the drive to go right to the very top of the footballing world. Honestly, the sky's the limit with that boy. I mean, he's some player at the age is already, and and he'll be learning off the best players and like some of the best players you can play against in Serie A. So if he's playing well against the likes of Ibrahimovic, then I see no reason why he can't go on to become a world class left back. Obviously, he's like still very young, but he's got all the potential in the world. I really hope that the boy goes ahead and makes it. Another comment from Hawk Albagubrath. I've been following you for years now, and from the start to now, it's only been a forward march. Do as best you can. I use your videos to show the young people. Borneo, what you can do. Oh, I've got an audience in Borneo up here. Well, thank you very much, Hawk, and keep spreading the message in Borneo. I appreciate um, the support you've given me because you've been a regular in my comment section for a number of years now. So... Thank you very much. Honestly, I appreciate the continued support. In fact, everybody that's on this stream tonight, thank you so much for your continued support. I, oh, excuse me again. I really, really appreciate the continued support on the streams. And I'm enjoying them. Hopefully you're enjoying them too. We got very lucky with the deflection after the voice is shot. Who cares? We make our own luck. 3-1 in the jam parts going into the half-time break. What team does Hickey play for, Mitchell? He plays for Bologna in Serie A. One minute additional time to be played at the end of this first half. Luis Shields says yes. Interesting. I wonder what's going to happen now. Wait, see if another goal goes in before half time. If we go 4 up before the half, that'll be absolutely outstanding. It's a free kick though. So, what are we saying? Place your bets. Is Jamie Walker going to score an absolute raker? I hope so. Quite a few folk standing over the free kick here. Oh, it's Stephen Kingsley. Hmm. I wonder if Kingsley will hit this. Kingsley or Roberts? Look how like they're going to shape up to take this set piece and add a time at the end of the first half. Referee just tells the world to get the line in order before Stephen Kingsley prepares to take this set piece for Heart of Midlothian. Oof, he looks serious. Kingsley means business. Come on, Hearts. One more goal before the half would be absolutely lovely. Stephen Kingsley steps up. Kingsley scores! What a goal! 4-1! <laughs> and Stephen Kingsley absolutely bullets it into the top corner. Where is that goal video? Where's it gone? Come on! That's game over now. Surely! Half of low the end. Four! Dundee FC now. Stephen Kingsley absolutely bins it. That is a... <laughs> that is a stunner. Flap Hamilton absolutely helped us sailing through the air. And Stephen Kingsley nets his first goal for the boys in Maroon. Heart of Midlothian in four. Four. Dundee FC one. Stephen Kingsley number 21 absolutely buries it. And that's the half-time whistle blowing now. Hearts 4, Dundee 1. What a first-half performance for the boys in the room. Let's get into the chat. Let us see some reaction. Let's see the reaction from the chat. Go! Mitchell Clark says, yes, 4-1 to the Jam Tarts. If you could choose a player to come back to Hearts, who would it be? I'll be honest, 
Kyle Lafferty. I absolutely love him. Obviously, he's getting on a bit now, but see if we could bring back like prime Lafferty to Hearts. Oh, it would be absolutely unreal. I live in Edinburgh and I support Hearts. Good choice on them. Good choice. God, you fall the big team in this city. And at Tyne Castle, 10 minutes away from the house. Fair dues. I live in Leith, so it's a bit more of a um, bit more of a trek for me to reach Hearts games. But yeah, it is worth it. Finn Moore says, Hearts are your favourite team from Edinburgh. Come on the Jambos. Great choice, mate. You also, you also saw Garuccio in Stockbridge on Monday. Fair dues. Decent me meeting before he goes away to Australia. To sign for Mel Bond victory. What a finish. Connor Robertson says, I agree. Absolutely pitch perfect free kick from um, not Ben Garuccio, from Stephen Kingsley to get his first goal for the boys in Maroon. Honestly, what a first half of hearts. The only downside is we couldn't be in the stadium to see this because, oh my lordy. <sighs> what a whirlwind first half that was. We absolutely took off near the end. 4 1 of the hearts before. The second 45 even gets underway. Oh, that is absolutely superb. Andy Mount says, luck is what you make it. I agree, Andy. We have to make our own luck. And I must say, we've got the luck of the jaw so far. 4-1 to the hearts at the half-time whistle. That's why you said yes, even lads. Enjoyed that goal, eh? Yes, Wolf. We absolutely loved that goal. Oh, I can't get over that. That's an absolute stunner. I thought... Jamie Walker would have stepped up and wrapped that free kick in, but Stephen Kingsley doing Stephen Kingsley things and absolutely burying that into Jack Hamilton's top left corner up the D's, up the fees. Is that meant to say up the D's, up the fees? No idea. Who cares? If they keep this up, they must be punished. Yes, no mercy, no apology. Get right into them. I wanted Hearts to show no mercy tonight, and we have not shown any mercy at all. Oh my lordy. Absolute scenes at Tyne Castle. Oh. Thank you very much. Got a half time pie from the old man. I mean, you absolutely love to see it. Oh, and some more Iron Brew. Don't mind if I do it whatsoever. Everybody, everybody, the pies are back. Pie review, part two, electric boogaloo. This time I've got a macaroni number for my culinary delights on this fine evening. Let's see what this one's like. I'll mute my mic because nobody likes chewing. No one likes chewing at all. That's absolutely delightful. Oh my lordy. Happy days. Happy days indeed. We've got a macaroni pie. Hearts are absolutely pumping Dundee. Friday nights don't get much better than this. Mitchell Clark says, You are the one of the nicest YouTubers right in Scotland. Honestly, Mitchell, thank you really much. I honestly appreciate that. An awful lot. I appreciate this. Your continued support of the channel. Met Andy Halliday at the Braid Hills last week. Got a picture. Nice lad. Andy Halliday. What a man. He'll be a quality signer for us once he gets back up to speed in terms of his fitness. Bye Dundee. Indeed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. You're back with the score. 4-1 on the jam tarts clear. 4-1. Absolutely stunning first half from the boys in my room. Do you watch Andy Halliday on open goal? Yes. Of course I watch Andy Halliday. His favourite song is absolutely outstanding. But hey, oh yes sir, I can boogie. Can't he beat it, you really can't beat it. Favourite Hearts player? To be honest, I've seen Jimmy Walker, but for that free kick, Stephen Kingsley is getting up those ranking rather sharpish. That was an absolute bullet. And I know all I've done since half time is mention Stephen Kingsley and his bullet free kick, but oh my god! Absolute schema, to be fair, Josh Ginelli. Was a very good goal as well. Should Hamilton have saved it? Yeah. Good finish. Mm-hmm. 4-1. I can't go over that. I'm going to wind up this pie. So, back in a minute.
Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Let's see. Any more comments coming in? Well, I've been absolutely demolishing that pie. Watching the game. Pie is the Friday at half time. <laughs> Tell you no man, I'm going to move in too. Graham. Mr. Graham. Someone's coming in with us. You, you can sleep in the spare room, mate. Don't worry. I'm sure the cat won't mind you taking um, the spare room too much. Any more comments? I don't know, cutie. It's happening barely, mate. Hope you're enjoying the game. Well, you'll be enjoying the game. Absolute scenes on toast and Gorgie. Ah, oh, been an absolutely brilliant show, to be honest, right? Hearts can push for a lot more goals in the second half. We won five, six if you want. Who cares? Just pump them. No mercy shown. Or the Banker Hibs. We team. We team. <laughs> Regardless of league. We team. Favourite Hearts player, Jamie Walker. Ha <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious. What are you laughing for? I'm being serious. Who do you think I want? KSI or Jake Paul? KSI, I think. Right. That's just cheek. See, for the live streaming, I'll be getting on the first train to Alloa. And sort of new for your mischief. Disgraceful. Do I like your profile picture? That's the Hearts badge. Of course I like it. Step away from the Iron Brew. See, just for you, Mr. Penny Velo Club. Just for you. Just for you, mate. Ah. Lovely. Absolutely lovely stuff. I'll not be stepping away from the Iron Brew anytime soon. In fact, I'll probably finish this band in the second half. Regrets? Nah. It's a good laugh, isn't it? Pie time. Lovely. That's the pie gone, don't worry. I'll be talking to you guys for the rest of this stream. Ben Ordlin says he's watching the game with his mate who's you convert to a jumbo. Fair play, excellent stuff and tell your mate he's picked the best team in Edinburgh to support. Come on the hearts. Yes, Roy, I agree with that. How long until the second half begins? Not too long. Not too long. Not too long at all. I'm going to take my microphone. Is it right for working, yeah? Yeah, good, we're working. For one second, I thought that um, it wasn't working, but it is. So, happy days. 7 2 full time from Zani. To be honest, I would not mind that at all. We team in the bigger league. Correct, you are the wee team in the bigger league. Love you too, Bailey. Aiden, do you what we think of Hibs? That is what I think of Hibs. Yes, that is indeed what I think. Describe the fourth goal for me one more time. Absolutely beautiful. Prediction for the second half. I reckon the game's going to finish. 5 1 at hearts. Chug a glass of iron brew. Do you know what, Corey? I accept your challenge. Come on. A little bit of the bubbly. Now, if this goes everywhere. Jeez, oh, sorry. If this goes everywhere, don't blame me. Blame Corey.
Oh, oh, a bit of wait for this one. Oh, I feel sick. See what you do to me, Corey. Honestly, oh, oh I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> I'm really gonna regret that. <laughs> oh, I'm not. That doesn't feel the greatest. I'll admit. Ah, oh, dearie me. Prediction for the second half. Yeah, I think it's going to be five one to the Hearts. Best curtains in the boys. Okay, chat. They belong to me, and only me. Oh, here we go again. See, oh, you got me bopping like mad, honestly. See, you got your chug of the glass, but you've also got me feeling rather sick. So, Corey, I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. Just subscribe. Yes! I'm guessing you've subscribed on the back of my chug of iron brew. In which case, the feeling sick was all <laughs> worthwhile. Let's see some more, um, more comments. Baldy boys, okay. Yes. Best chat on Twitter. Craig Hill says his favourite Hearts player is Rudy Scatchel. Good choice. He is mine as well. Uh, Lewis McCready says, I look like I work at the Sky customer service with that mouthpiece. Well, come on. I'm doing the best of what I've got. Come on. Give us a bit of a break. I've got nothing else on microphone on it, and this works perfectly fine. So I'll be keeping it the Sky customer service look for the next wee while. Thank you very much. Hearts look good. We'll walk the league. I agree. Hearts are going to walk this league. Thank you. Good lad. Anything to please. Tyne Castle, one of the most underrated stadiums in Scotland. I wouldn't say it's underrated. I'd say it's one of the best. About 20,000 capacity. Stands right up to the pitch. It's oh, it's a great place to go and watch your football. Cannot beat a trip to Tyne Castle. I miss it. I miss it too much. And I cannot wait to get back. Eventually, I can't handle my pints. Iron Brew, mate. Come on. Oh. Jeez, <laughs> oh. oh! I drank far too much for the juice, far too quickly. Louis Shields is nine and he's been watching it for four? Felders? I appreciate the commitment, you're enjoying it a little too much. Aye. It's hard to get that down your neck when all you can feel is bubbles coming out your throat. Gives a bit of a break. Is this on every Hearts game? Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for every game if people want me to do it. I'll, um, I'll commit to streaming as many games as possible if people want to do it. Would you like to drink with Aaron? Oh, is that my cue? Is that my cue to um, drink another glass? I you just wanting me to drink another glass? Are you wanting me to get it down me? Do you just want another glass? Get going in the chat. Do you want another glass? Let's see. I don't know about that, Darren. We'll have to wait and see. See, eat as loud as you can. Eat. Are you happy now? You're very happy. Right, I've screamed it. Sub. Eat. Subscribe. Thank you very much. Harry Potter. Very original. Very original. My favourite hearts were Juvon Oshinima. God is good. Fantastic. Are you a hearts fan? If not, who do you support? Well, yes, I'm a hearts fan. I also follow Edinburgh City. Who are in Scottish League 2. I support Norwich. Fair do to you, mate. Hope you bounce back from your relegation. Let's see. Another glass. Another glass. Pint of vodka. I've not got any vodka. I can't drink vodka. I can, however, go another glass of Iron Brew. Teams are just about to come out for the second half. And while that happens, I'll get another glass of Iron Brew down me. I'm regretting this. I'm really, honestly, you all better appreciate the content here because I'm making myself feel rather sick. Right. Hello, Zed Davidson. How are you doing? Liam L says, keep yourself well. Second half just begun. It's not kicked off for me on my screen just yet, but the second half is now underway for Heart of Lothian. Does Liam Henderson still play for City? Yes, he does still play for City. He's still at the club. He signed a contract extension for the viewers. In that case, cheers to you all. Dear health. Down the hatch. There's your dinner. Oh. 
there's your glass of iron brew. I'm drinking no more for a stream because honestly, I feel even more sick than I did already. <laughs> Second half is now underway at Tyne Castle Park. Iron Brew gets you through. Scream Yeet. And I've said it many times. Yeet. Subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Corey Pitt says, I love this channel. Post notifications going on. Yes. I appreciate it. Big time, mate. I appreciate the notifications going on from yourself. Oh. Oh, it's too much Iron Brew. Oh, get, come on. Honestly. Right, I was muted there. You'll be glad that I've um, had my microphone muted because, to be honest, that was absolutely vile. Hammer Lothian 4, Dundee FC 1. The second half is now underway. EK says Iron Brew should sponsor me. Iron Brew, hit me up. I'm down for a sponsorship. <laughs> We're killing this man, you're not quite killing me mate. It's not exactly like I'm chugging straight vodka, but honestly the Iron Brew is um, it's taking its toll because eating that pie and drinking that much Iron Brew that quickly, it's not going down very well. <laughs> but yeah, the Iron Brew is going to the side for the rest of this game. Hammer Lothian Football Club hopefully adding to their goals in the second half. Currently Hammer Lothian 4, Dundee FC 1. Lewis says, I'll sponsor you, lad. Good lad, get in the DMs. Sort something out. Charlie Adam is putting himself about to you, to be fair. You'd expect that from Charlie Adam. You know, he's a pretty, um, he's still a very good player for his age. Thoughts on Robbie Nielsen? He's the man that gets back up to the Premiership. BLNC XFMHD. Mate, hit me up. We can see what we can do. Charlie Adam looking at, like the miserable git that he always is after pinging a ball right out of play. Pleasing. He tried to do a half wheeling goal against Chelsea. Is that Chelsea that he scored it against? Hey! Just floored Jimmy Walker! That is vile. How is he open them up for that? Oh, it's annoying me. <sighs> Sorry for the constant bopping, by the way, but that's what um, half a litre of iron brew does to you. <laughs> like could you be my first subscriber? Well, I'll have to try and find your channel first, but I fire away. He is excellent, Big Adam. He's still a very astute signing for this level of C League. About a year and a half ago, when Hearts were linked to him, I did want Charlie Adam at the club. I thought he would have been a pretty decent pickup, but obviously his legs have kind of gone now, but he's still been good for Dundee. But to be honest, I'm more than content with the midfielders that we have. So, yeah. Fair enough, he's went back to his Dwyer club, but hopefully his season is as awful as possible and he does not get promoted. What channel is the game on? The channel is on BBC Scotland. Free to watch on the iPlayer or on your normal television. Louis Shields says you're my favourite YouTuber. Honestly, Louis, thank you very much. That means an awful lot. What channel is the game on? It is on BBC Sport. Robbie Nielsen's a winner. I'd agree. He's looking to get his third championship title, which I find mental, because he won the championship at Hearts at the first time of asking five years ago. Then they won it with Dundee United last season, and now he's looking to win his third in a row with Hearts. And to be honest, I see no reason why he could not go and win it. Oswin, so snapshot for the edge of the box, well over the bar. But it's a free kick. Ooh, free kick for Dundee now. Hopefully keep Charlie Adam quiet from this one because I don't fancy seeing him score another goal. To be fair, Papescu's written pretty high there. Yeah, free kick to Dundee. Deservedly so for a high boot on Osman. So, Hearts currently sorting out their wall. Made out of Ollie Lee and Mihai Papescu. And there are some other players that have now went out of shot. Just in case you're joining us for the second half and haven't seen the starting 11s, here is the Hearts team, Gordon, Smith, Walker, Lee, Boyce, Roberts, Irving, Kingsley, Halkett, Popescu and Janelli. And the Dundee team that started the first half was Hamilton, Kerr, McGee, Foster, Dorans, McGowan, Ashcroft, Robertson, So, Marshall and Adam. Charlie Adam hits it. Oof, yeah, bear. Just wait for Charlie Adam. As I said, he is dangerous from free kicks. Get him kept quiet. He whipped that with real menace. But it's just wide. We're half a yard away from Craig Gordon's left hand post. The score still stays. Hearts four. Done D one. Back into the stream. 
fire your questions, fire your comments into the chat, and I'll get them fired up on the bottom side of the screen. Oops, I've just went out of my tab. Back in, there we go. I'll get the Hearts team at the bottom of the screen. I think I'm about 60 seconds in front of you with this broadcast, Aaron. To be fair, I don't know why, but my broadcast is slightly behind. But still 4-1 Hearts, and to be honest, I'm perfectly fine with that. I hope um, me being a little behind isn't too distracting. I hope you're still enjoying the stream regardless. And yeah, sorry for me being ever so slightly behind real time, but I'm sure it were. Enjoying seeing Hearts cruising to three points against Dundee, regardless of the timing. Walker in the box. Walker! Ooh! Almost made it 5 1 there, but it went wide of the post. Nice dig from Adam, says Wolf. Close in counter. I agree. Very close dig from Charlie Adam. Jamie Walker? Yeah, to be fair, it was pretty wide. It was pretty wide, to be honest. Was it as close as I thought? Osman So has now been subbed off for Dundee, the former Hearts man. I know it made much of an impact. He is replaced by Mullen wearing the number nine shirt for Dundee. Zed Davidson says hi to Hayden, and I'm assuming Hayden said hi back to Zach. Back to the regular graphic, Michael Smith. Can't speak tonight. Hooks it out of the park. I'm watching the Arabic channel, no commentary. I'm guessing you couldn't get um, BBC Scotland uh, where you are, Wolf. Maybe have a VPN or something? You never know. Just have to wait and see. To be fair, the commentary isn't even too bad on BBC Scotland. So... And that is now Dundee on a dangerous attack. Afalabi chops it. Afalabi saved well by Craig Gordon. And the ball is hammered clear from the Hearts defence. Dundee is still looking dangerous. Ball in. Ball by Michael Smith. And it's a, a goal kick. Surprised by that. I thought it was going to be a, a corner. I was sure Afalabi hit it off the Hearts defender. But the final touch was that came off the Dundee FC man. And it is now going to be a goal kick for Hearts. Andy Mount says, Ever. I, whatever that means, oh well, who cares? Not me. I don't mind too much. I never knew it was on the BBC. You always boycott them. Yeah, the game is on um, the BBC tonight. It's free of you. So that is how I am um, tuning in to the game tonight. That is how I am watching the game. And the camera was just focused on Afalabi for an awful long time. Unsure as to why, because Hearts have now got the ball back into play. And it's sent swiftly into the dugout. Nielsen looking stern, barking out his orders to the Hearts defence. Dundee have thrown the ball. Go on, Boise. Press. Unlucky. Dundee are still on the ball in their own half. Crossing the halfway line now. Ball is played back to the centre circle to Dundee's number three, Jordan McGee. Hearts are still keeping in decent shape, you know. Still keeping the attacks going. When they can, however, Dundee have had a bit of possession in the last couple of minutes. Hearts pressing three up front. Hamilton hoofs it long towards... His strike force, but Halkett wins the ball in the air. Now to Ollie Lee. Ollie Lee spins and turns. Liam Boyce. Still running, Liam Boyce. Out to the left-hand side. Roberts on the ball. Jordan Roberts. Still going, Hearts number 11. On the left-hand side, he wins the ball off of Charlie Adam. Still Jordan Roberts. Ah, ball's taken well away from there. Michael Smith. Walker's on it in the centre. Jimmy Walker, Walker, still Walker, back to the left-hand side, Roberts whips it in, Janelli, <sighs> in it to Hamilton's gloves, unfortunately, back out towards Andy Irvine, the Porte Pirlo takes it down well in the centre of the park, out to Michael Smith on the right-hand side, Smith feeds the ball in, towards Ollie Lee, Lee plays it in, Boyce, um, back towards Flap Hammer, who hammers a long, ooh, bit of a dodgy kick, that one. Aye, right, come on. Free kick to Hearts. Happy days. Happy days. Robertson bringing down the Hearts number 10. 
And Hearts now got a free kick. 55 minutes and 5 seconds into this Scottish Championship curtain raiser. Hearts 4, Dundee FC 1. Pretty late challenge from the Dundee player, to be honest, and deservedly Boyce hits the deck. And Hearts got a dangerous free kick in another dangerous position. Never know. Could Stephen Kingsley work his magic again? He's not standing over this one. It's Andy Irving and Michael Smith who are standing over the ball just now. Irving puts it to Ollie Lee. Lee, out to the right. Now to Gino. Hearts number 30. Dancing feet. Back on his left foot. Ginelli. Corner for Hearts. Good, positive play we like to see. We're not sitting back on our laws. We're still going for it. We're really going for it and trying to make sure this game is not over yet. As I said, have to keep pressing. Have to keep trying to score more goals. I'd love a fifth goal. And I must say, hopefully we can get it from this corner kick. That would be excellent. Ball's even in the quadrant. And the other making sure that the ball is exactly on the line before we're preparing to whip it in to... The Dundee FC box, Irving, whips it in. Lee, ah, away. Now to Jimmy Walker. To Michael Smith, pings it out right towards Andy Irving. Andy Irving, put a barrel peel low. Ah, it's away. It's not a goal, unfortunately, for the heart of a Lothian just yet. And now Dundee on the attack of their own. Good ball in. McGowan, shoots, away. Handled well by Craig Gordon. And Hearts are still happy days. Four goals to the good compared to Dundee's only goal. 4-1 to Hearts. Damien Kingsley on the ball. Plays it back towards Mia Pepescu. Who feeds it out towards Michael Smith on the right hand side. Great passing from the new Hearts number 28. Ginelli plays it out towards Ollie Lee. Who pings it out towards Jimmy Walker? Unfortunately, dealt with by Dundee defence. Hearts are really possession heavy now. Back in the ball again with Michael Smith. Michael Smith out to Gino Ginelli. Looking like a decent ball in the box. Ball in the box. Ooh, not a penalty. Thought it could have been. You never know. Let's see. Let's look into the chat and see what is going on. God, they went from the new camp to a cold night in Edinburgh. I'm sure you'd have it no other way. Julian Andres Morales Gill says, Goal! It would appear to me that there is no goals. Not today, Dundee. Correct. Not today. Not going to let them score. Julian Andres Morales Gill again thinks that the old firm will be Rangers 2, Celtic 1. Decent prediction. I still think... It'll be a draw, Nathan. I think it'll be a draw in the old fun. Ginelli is too greedy for me. To be fair, he's um he's looked very lively, I think. Like obviously we've seen in his debut against St. Murren, like he's really willing to just get the ball past the ball and whip it mean into the box. I think he, as you said, he could probably use it a little bit more often, but see once he gets his delivery spot on, he's gonna get assists for fun in the Scottish Championship. The new Martin Tyler says Joe McBeath. I mean I wouldn't mind it. I mean, I, I, maybe Collins is not for me, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best for you guys. Teddy's are going to win 2 0, according to Wolf Einstein. I still think it is going to be a draw. Free kick to Dundee after Charlie Adam goes for Ollie Lee for no particular reason whatsoever. He looks rather annoyed, to be fair. If my team were getting pumped for one of the first game of the season, I'd be annoyed too. Charlie Adam, get it up, you. 4 1 2 Hearts. <clears throat> Don't even know how it's a free kick to them for a start. Going all elbows towards the Hearts team. But regardless, regardless, they got the free kick and nothing really came of it. Much to my delight. This about reached the 68th minute mark. Half an hour left here in Gorgate. Hearts 4 done D1. By the way, guys, if you've got any feedback for me on how to improve my streams, um, please put it in the comments. I'll take all your comments on board and... Um, I'll make sure to implement your feedback for future live streams because obviously it's not just my stream, it's you guys, it's your stream too. So anything you want me to do, great safe for Craig Gordon to um, improve these live events, please let me know and I will do my best to make them better for you guys because as I said, it's not just me just sitting in my room talking to a camera, it's for your enjoyment. So please let me know any feedback you have for the live stream, let me know what I could be doing. Wolf Einstein says, I is a good player, I can see why Robbie signed him, but he has to be a bit sharper on the ball. I agree, 
but I do think that that sharpness will come with more game time, which thankfully the championship on the way is exactly what Gino is going to get. Hamish Wilson says, come on the hearts. Yes, come on the hearts. Dundee hook the ball clear. Um, Julian asks for the score. The score is still Hearts and Lothian 4, Dundee 1. I should do a day in a life. I mean, I'll be honest, my life's not very interesting. Um, I wake up, go to school, and come home, play FIFA. It's a bit, really. I've not had a very interesting life, to be perfectly honest with you. But um, if it's something people wanted to see, I don't know. Maybe one day. Maybe one day when I'm a bit hard up for content. But yeah. Day of my life, really, is just go to school, come home, watch football, play FIFA, this, the usual stuff. I'm no different to like any of you guys, really. I'm just a normal guy at the end of the day. But yeah, that's what my day tends to consist of. Just school, FIFA, nothing much else, really. Like a bit of golf, too. But yeah, nothing too outlandish. Craig Gordon looking magnificent. Honestly, what a great signing Craig Gordon's been. I still can't believe that... Celtic wanted to let him go. I mean, obviously, he filled in the pecking order, but having a player of his quality, you can see why he wanted to still play games. He's still got plenty left in the tank. Janelli on the ball, whips it in. Ooh, unfortunately, he couldn't quite capitalise on that cross from the Hearts number 30. Charlie Adam on the ball, dribbling forward with real purpose. Pings it out to the right-hand side. Dundee is still on the attack. Quick feet. Kingsley stands him up. Excellent, Stephen Kingsley. Stephen Kingsley is outstanding, by the way. We've never really had, like, we've had Aaron Hickey, too. But before him, the last really good left back I see we have is Adam Eckersley. And Stephen Kingsley is doing outstanding at the moment. Again, cannot believe that we got him on a free transfer. Luis asks me, how old are you? I'm 17. I am 18 in March. So it's still a while yet. But yeah, right now I am 17 years of age. A replay being shown a Craig Gordon save. Bouncing ball, palms it away, easy as you like. It is good being in a championship because we got a trophy. <laughs> I mean, the last trophy Hearts won was a championship, and I wasn't even there to see us lift it. I was fuming. Like, see the last time we were in the championship, right? I, I went to every home game, but I um, I missed the trophy lift because of a wedding. I had to watch it on a phone at a Hun Hearts TV, bolt in the box, walker. Boyce on the edge of the deep. Walker. Uh, unfortunately, could not capitalise on that chance. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Pineapple, indeed, does not belong on pizza. And I really do not know how people can like it. It, it just... It's just one of those things that really shouldn't happen. Pineapple, no danger should it belong on pizza. No, I don't know what you're saying no about. Um, I've not conceded yet. Still four one of the hearts. Oh, don't you dare score now! Don't you think about it? Way over the bar! Thank you very much. I thought I cussed it there for a second, but I never. Thankfully, still four one to the good. And Wolf Einstein. I keep seeing Einstein. It's Einstein. Wolf Einstein. There we go. See your name properly, mate. Yes, he agrees with Ek, and I agree with you too. Pineapple never. Ever should be on pizza. <laughs> Let's be honest, it should not. No chance should that be on a pizza topping ever, ever, ever. Pineapple and pizza and iron brew. What a night to be streaming on the Aaron Fraser YouTube channel. Craig okay, Gordon's um, complaining about something or other. Probably the offside flag or lack of it. As I said on the commentary on the BBC, Nielsen is now berating the linesman. Something. Caden Malone says I'm on the hearts. I agree. Luis Shields has got us. He has indeed. I'm on the hearts again from Caden Malone. You've said that twice. Don't blame you. I'd be saying that more than twice if I were you. Dundee in the bonus set of circle. Pinged out towards the left hand side. Is he going to reach it? He has to be fair. He's Aye, at the park you go. Easy. Hearts threw an opinion at Iron Brew. Absolutely lovely drink. Can't go wrong with Iron Brew. Only way you can go wrong with Iron Brew is if you drink too much of it. And um, I'm guilty of that one. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Sound the klaxon. Sound the Haring klaxon. He's coming on. Peter Haring is coming on to the park. Lovely. I must say, seeing Big Pete back on the pitch, it just brings me happiness, honestly. Just 
we missed him so much. I'm so glad that he's come back fit and he's actually fit this time. He can actually get through any minutes. He can get through games. And it's just great. We, we, we sorely, sorely missed his presence last season. I do feel if we did have Peter Halling at our disposal, we wouldn't have been as bad last season. Kingsley flashes it wide of Flap Hamilton's right hand post in the hearts of my 21 looking to double his money. James Govan says, great first half, keep up the videos mate, always got some good content. James, thank you very much, I appreciate it a lot. Glenn Tube asks me, am I going to watch Atletico tomorrow? Of course, vamos Atleti, hopefully we can get the win in that game. In fact, three years ago today I was actually in Madrid at the Atletico Stadium. Time flies honestly, just wish I could go back. But yes, Glenn, I will be watching Atletico tomorrow. Hopefully, Los Colchoneros can get the win. Peter Haring, as I said, set to come on to the park. Most likely for um, Ollie Lee, I think. I reckon Lee will get subbed off. Rangers v Celtic for the crown. The GTs have won the league already. <laughs> yeah. Although Irving's been booked just now, so maybe Nielsen will bring Irving off instead. Just to save him getting any more bookings headed his way. Uh, everyone seems to be reacting sadly in the chat, so I, I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully not a goal. I don't want a goal. I don't want a goal for Dundee. I really don't. Although maybe it's just a challenge that Irving put in. To be fair, it's a pretty bad challenge to be fair. Bottom of the box for Dundee. Over the bar. Easy, easy, easy. Happy days. Why is everyone saying no? Have they scored? Have Dundee scored again? Have they scored? Hopefully not. We are if that. Charlie Adam is set to whip the ball into the Hearts area. Ball falls to Dundee midfielder. Out to is that Afalabi. Afalabi spins, shoots. Yep, goal. Bah, goal for Dundee. Unfortunate. What can you do? Hearts four, Dundee two. Uh, that's annoying. That's rather annoying for Dun for Hearts to see another goal. Right, uh, unfortunate. Ryan Porteous says four two. I'm not convinced you're the actual Ryan Porteous. Hearts are leaky at the back. Can't for this but to have a go. Come ahead. I'm sure it will um will show up before the semi final. All right, Taylor. Glad you found the channel. If you can consider subscribing and stick around for the ride, I would really, really appreciate that one. I must say, six goals in the opening game. I mean, these closed door games have a reputation for being goals galore. But, um, six goals! I can't remember the last time I've seen a Hearts game involving six goals. Haha, <laughs> 5-1 pattern. It's a 5-1 pattern here. But in all seriousness, I can't remember the last time I was at a Hearts game. Wow, what a save! Jack Hamilton made a save. <sighs> Somebody hold me. Somebody hold me up. Jack Hamilton made an alright save. <laughs> Things don't expect to see. Jack Howard's actually behaved like a goalkeeper for once in his life. Flying save. Flying, flying save from the former Hearts keeper. Marcus Calderon says we are good going forward to be fair. We are, we are indeed. Wolf says we're playing great. We've got no complaints so far. Yeah, I would say no complaints either. Oh! Should have scored that Roberts. Really should have just, just hit it down into the ground, not up over the bar. Uh, that's a chance wasted. We could have been 5-2 to the good there. Ah, uh, Could have been more clinical there. That should have been number five. Am I watching the old firm? I'll, I'll probably watch the old firm, to be honest. I mean, it's even though I don't like either club, like it's a big game. Might as well watch it. Football is football. At the end of the day, Caden seems to find my reaction rather funny to Jack Hamilton's save. There it is, he's made a save. He has indeed made a save. Yep, Andy Irving is being subbed off for the Austrian maestro, Peter Haring. Decent shift for Irving, but to be fair, that um, that um, that tackle probably cemented that he was going to get brought off to avoid further disciplinary action. James Govan says, Adam is a great face for you, rat. I agree strongly with that sentiment. Aaron Rhinus asks me, how did I become a Hearts fan? You'll be surprised for everyone that doesn't know. I'm from Leith. I live five minutes from Easter Road, so you'd be thinking 
Why are you not a Habs fan? Well, my dad was a Hearts fan. My dad is a Hearts fan even, and my granddad was a Hearts fan too. So, I'm um, third generation Hearts. So, yeah, that's why. It's not because, like, where in Edinburgh I'm from, it's just family. I'm a Hearts fan because of my family. Everybody that likes football in my family are all supporting Hearts. So, obviously, I was going to follow suit. Taylor Dunn says, I'm a Rangers fan, but Hearts are a good team. I agree, we're a very good team. See if we had this team in the Premiership, I, I reckon we go a decent runner. I reckon this, this team could easily push for top six, maybe further in at the Premiership. But obviously, we're not there right now in the Championship. Haha, <laughs> funny. Yeah. I reckon if this team gets back up, we could really... Hopefully they were done the last time, because the last time Nielsen got a team up for the Champ, he really pushed on and went in a proper good season, finishing third. And I don't think we'd maybe get third, like, straight back up at this season after this one, but... You never know. You never know. After this, this team's got a lot of potential. I reckon there's a lot of football to be played and a lot of goals to be scored. I'm looking forward to seeing what this team does to the championship and then hopefully the Premiership. Who is your favourite footballer? Um, I'd probably say Jack Grealish. Oops, sorry. There we go. I'd say Jack Grealish and no, not because of the haircut. I just think he's a very good player. Like, I admire his playing style, and he, he, he really he carried that Villa team to survival by himself. He's good trickery, can score some cracking goals. He's, he's a funny guy with the pitch too. So yeah, I'd say Jack Grealish should be my favourite footballer, like non-hearts obviously, but I'd say Jack Grealish should be my favourite footballer. Not playing for hearts, I'm watching Newcastle tomorrow. Oh, I've got so many, I've got Atletico to watch, Newcastle, the old firm. I want to stick all the games on at once, who cares? I'll be watching as many games as I can tomorrow because football is football. Taylor Dunn thinks the Rangers are going to win three goals to nil. Fair dues, fair dues, and um, never know. Have to wait and see. Zed Davidson asks if Hayden's still in here. If Hayden's still in here, get in touch with your pal. He is looking for you. And Dundee would appear to have a free kick now. Yep, Charlie Adam once again. The greeting faced body rep standing over the ball. Set to whip the ball into the Hearts area. Oh, Craig Gordon. Honestly, see having a Hearts keeper that can just catch a ball and not fumble it and spill it and chuck it to the defence. Oh, it's a relief. It's a massive relief, to be perfectly honest. I do love having a goalkeeper that's actually competent. 8pm v United. Happy days. That'll be a decent game to watch. Caden Malone says, yeah. Fair dues and Hayden is still in the stream. Next sub to come on for Heart of Midlothian is Andy Halliday. Oh, Janelli off, Halliday on. Oh, yes, sir. I can boogie, but I need a certain song. I must say, very good shift for Gino getting his first goal for the club, but on he comes, the man himself, number 16. Andy Holiday, beautiful, what a man, what a player, what a character too. Andy Holiday makes his way on to the pitch. You love to see it. He's on the ball right away, one to Stephen Kingsley, one to again with Stephen Kingsley and he whips the ball towards Roberts who gets tackled by the Dundee number six. And some more comments to look through, Predicts for the Edinburgh Derby. I'm not going to predict it. I'm not going to commit to anything on screen because it'll come back and it'll bite me big time. I'm hoping that Hearts are going to win, but I am not predicting that game. It's too it's too unpredictable, really. So, so much could happen in the next two weeks. My prediction is I hope, hopefully our Hearts win. Whatever happens, I don't care. I just want us to win so, so badly. Henry Smith, Walter Kidd, Sandy Jordan, Craig Levine, Kenny Black. Blah, blah, blah. I can go on. I hope Andy scores here to wind up Graham Dorns and Charlie Adam. <laughs> I must say, that would be extra pleasing content. He's not really a man of many goals, Mr. Halliday, but when he scores, he tends to be not that bad. Do you think Dundee will catch up in this game? I don't think so. I think Carlos is going to win this game. Boise, snapshot over the edge of the box, and it's hoofed clear. Harring's ball, yes! He's so majestic. I adore that man. Who's the best Hearts player of all time? Hmm. Well, you've, you've got like, like the, the terrible trio, like Warthog, Bald, you've got... But 
for the modern era, yeah, I'm still gonna say Scatchel, although we've had some ridiculously good players. Like that that whole O five, O six team were absolutely absurdly talented. Remember the scheme against the Hybees? I do remember that, but uh, as I'm from Leith, I'm reminded of the outcome of that game every single day of my life. So the less said about that final the better. Here it comes! Here comes the hitman! Boys off, Baldy White and on! Here we go! Here we go! Here comes Mr. Hattrick. Come on, Craigie, son. Give us another few goals tonight. Kill off your former club. No mercy. No apology. If we beat Hibs, we could probably go all the way. To be honest, right, it would be a very strange occasion of a closed-door Scottish Cup final. But um, with no fans being there, you never know. I mean, who's not to say Aberdeen could pull off a big shock against Celtic in their semi-final? And then... A Hearts Aberdeen final will be very interesting at behind closed doors Hamden. You've got to fancy your team. It's a pretty evenly matched game, but I would I would fancy Hearts chances if it was Aberdeen we're playing in the final. If it's Celtic, less so would get smashed. But if it's Aberdeen, you never know. Up the hearts, Kaden Malone. Good man. Football Genix seventy seven. Would it be a shock if Rangers stopped ten in a row? Well, yeah, I think it would be a shock because they're still the obvious underdogs for the league title and um like that Celtic team just keep on winning however they want. So uh, yes, I reckon it would be um it would be a pretty big shock. Holiday Oof. wide of the post. And <laughs> um, thinks it's really you're talking about his go at the cabbage patch. I must say um I've not um I've not seen that goal. I might have to look it up after this game but I'm guessing that'll be a screamer. Ooh by the way See if that ever had a deflection. That was going right into the bottom corner. Imagine if, oh, if Andy Halliday opens his account tonight. That'll be delicious. Andy Mullen says, Robo, good shout too. Caden Malone says, he wishes Hickey was still here. We all do. But to be honest, we've got to move on from Hickey now. All right, ref. Oh, oh actually, why am I calling for that? Harris just shoved him over. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, that was a foul. That was a foul. Wolf Instinct says it's epic. Well, I'm looking forward to watching that goal after this stream has ended. Max Anderson is on the park for Dundee. He is replacing Robertson. Dundee's number 19 has now left the field of play. It's just short of 10 minutes to go. Yet, Tyne Castle, Hearts 4, Dundee FC 2. Adam on the ball again for Dundee. Back in the midfield, Charlie Adam again with a signature cross-field ball. Get out of the park. Wahey! Goodbye, Charlie. Out the park, into the sideboards. <laughs> what we love to see. No, I, I can't even slag him off too much. He's scored a lovely goal. But thankfully, aside from that goal, we've kept him fairly quiet. Well, apart from the, um, the double three kicks that almost went in. 7-1, the Hearts win. Optimistic, and we can't really win 7-1, given it's 4-2 right now, but 7-2, a bit optimistic. Do you play Xbox or PS4? I play on Xbox myself. I've only really had a 360, and I've had the one as well. Do you think Manelos will score against Celtic? No, I don't think Manelos will score against Celtic. He never will, or he won't for a good while yet anyway. I reckon if Emily's going to score, it'll be probably a penalty from Tavernier or something like that. But I don't think that Manelos will score. To be fair, there's no fans, so there's a bit less pressure, I suppose. But it would appear that Manelos is allergic to scoring old firm goals. So I will not believe that he'll score one until I see it with my own eyes. Michael Smith hacks down a Dundee player. And I think he escaped a booking for that one. Bringing down at number six, Graham Dorrance. Yeah, pretty late challenge from Mick there. But yeah. Can't really complain about that one being a foul. But yeah, I don't think Manelos is going to score against Celtic. Lindsay Luckin and Malone asks me what's my favourite Hearts player. Jamie Walker, I'd say, but Stephen Kingsley is fast becoming a new favourite because that free kick was stunning. Tag says, it said, I've seen you at a Hearts game. Well, whenever we're back at Think Castle, come and say hi. It'd be good to actually see some of you folk in real life too. Get you in the video. If you guys want. Faze Al asks, says he hopes for a 5-2. I hope so too. I really hope so too. Wolf says he thinks Scott Arfield's going to score tomorrow, to be fair. He's got a knack at old firm goals. I reckon it would be a pretty 
safe bet for the Rangers number 37 to find the back of the net tomorrow. But anyway, enough about Rangers themselves. Like, who cares about the old fun? We're here to talk about Hearts and Dundee. Keelan Fisher asks, have we played well? We've played very well, Keelan. We've played some pretty decent football. Obviously, it's annoying to concede those two goals that we've looked in control for the whole 80 minutes so far. Football Genix 77 asks me, when do you start sporting Edinburgh City Dundee on the attack? Answer your question in a second, mate. Away! Good stuff, Craig Gordon. But yeah, I started supporting Edinburgh City when I was in its second year at high school. I'm now I'm in my last year now, so I've been supporting City for about four years. And yeah, it's been good. Uh, I started supporting them because um, Hearts were away for one week. And I, I never went to the away game. And I was um, happened to be walking past Meadow Bank and with a few friends and noticed that there was a football game on. It turned out it was Edinburgh City's first ever professional game against Forfa. So, went along to that. Enjoy myself and I've been following the club ever since. They've been very accommodating with me. I'm now part of the club media team and I'm now a supporter of Edinburgh City as well as Hearts. So yeah, great club and I hope they can go for the playoffs this season. Queen's Park, let's be realistic, will run away with the league too. But City for the playoffs, don't write them off at all. Got a cracking squad and some good new signings as well. Hamish Wilson, we hate Dundee. Yes, we do. We do hate Dundee. Keelan, what are you putting for tomorrow? I've said it a lot of times in the stream already, mate. I reckon it's going to be a one. I could be a, a draw. Probably 1-1. One, one. I can't see any team winning tomorrow's game. It's a pretty tight encounter. Dundee scored one more than the Wii team 2012, Remy. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. 81 minutes on the clock here. Heart for... Dundee to 82nd minute now at Tyne Castle Park. Lovely shot of the flags behind the goals. I can see my flag in there somewhere. Right up the top left hand side. Football Genix 77. How far will Hearts get in the Better Fed Cup? I reckon we could... I don't know. Oh. Oh, I bit my tongue. Ah. That is sore. That's rather... Rather sore. I reckon Hearts could get to, I said definitely get to the quarters, possibly the semis too. All depends on the luck of the draw, but we've got a good quality team. We can go reasonably far in the League Cup. We hate the Hibs. Yes, we do. Nothing quite like you magic at Tinkers after the big one. Oh, I miss that feeling so, so much. I've got a video of me beat um, Rangers 2-1 back in, I think it was, must have been March, wasn't it? Um, that 2-1 game my boy scored the winner and oh see magic at full time oh absolutely unreal I miss it so so much from Indonesia maybe just me Hearts fans Hearts Indonesia supporters club who cares Wolf Enstein watch this mate is it another goal Ooh, hopefully it's another goal wouldn't mind that at all Jimmy Walker hits it long Mate, see if, see if White in scores. Oh, perfection. Go on, White in. White in. Out to left hand side. Back to Walker. Kingsway. Ole! Quick feet from the heart number 21. Walker. Pings it to Ollie Lee. Lee. Michael Smith. Dribbles in. Roberts. Shoot! Kingsley! Oh! What a goal! Get that video on again! Easy, 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 easy! Get up, yes! Ah, oh, three points! Three points, thank you very much! Heart of Lothian, five! That is five! Done D2! Stephen Kingsley doubles his money with a rocket for the edge of the box! <laughs> Oh, what a goal! Bye. Goodbye, Jack Harmon. Goodbye, Charlie Adam. Goodbye, Graham Dorans. Goodbye, Dundee Football Club. Thank you for coming. Good night, Irene. Get back to Dundee with absolutely no points in the bag. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Stephen Kingsley is getting right up my favourite player rankings. What a man, honestly. He decides, come on, I'm going to score two screamers against Dundee in the one game. Ugh, honestly. See, if it wasn't for COVID or 6 I'd give that man a massive hug. I would just give him the biggest hug of a mate. Come on. What a goal. What a player. <laughs> Three chance for we got that boy for. Three. 
Oh! <laughs> Head for one, and I'm so, so sorry. What a goal! What a goal! Oh my god! <laughs> Lovely stuff! Oh, I'm so glad I watched it. Yes, 5 to earmuffs. Sorry! Sorry! My apologies. <laughs> my apologies for getting carried away, but what a goal! <laughs> Granny Tom would have scored. Can we get a Granny Tom in the chat? Granny Tom's Maroon and White Army. Oh, oh my god. Right, we are beating Dundee 5 2. They are our nearest title challengers. I don't mind this championship lock. <laughs> oh, what? We are absolutely humping them. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm watching the game on BBC Scotland. Oh, yes. Indonesia Heart Sports Club membership 2, it would appear. Kingsley Schema, get in. To be fair, I can see if, if every game's like this, this will be, um, this'll be pretty easy. It's time to party. Get in there. Ollie Lee is running the midfield, pinging the passes left and right. Honestly, what a player. He'll find this league far too easy. Granny Tom. Granny Tom. North Sumatra, Indonesia. That's a fair distance away, mate. I'm very glad that regardless of where you're from, you support Heart of Midlothian. Heart of Midlothian. Oh, 5-2. This is too easy. Dundee. Get out of Tyne Castle. Imagine, imagine being a Dundee manager. Imagine having the audacity to think that you're um, going to come to Tyne Castle. <laughs> get three points. Pfft, Charlie Adam. <laughs> three points. Get out of here. Too easy. Oh, this is absolutely delightful. Oh, I'm getting confused. Sorry, mate. Indonesia, Malaysia. I'm getting confused. Yes. Easy. 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 Miri Sarawak. Not sure what that means. I'm guessing it's a foreign language of some sort. Granny Tom, it's magic, you know. Oh, everybody, put, right, it's pretty, can't speak, sorry. Getting close to the end of the game now. White in! Go on, Baldy. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, right, everyone in the chat now, let me know your man of the match. Get in those comments now and tell me who you think has been a man of the match for Hearts today. Personally, I'm going to go with Stephen Kingsley. Saw that left back, two goals. I'd say Stephen King's man of the match, but who's your man of the match, guys? Let me know down there in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Back in it, TV stays Kingsley for man of the match. I would agree. I'd definitely say Kingsley man of the match. Karen Fortune says Kingsley too. Fair dues, fair dues. I do think he's been outstanding on the park today. Let's see, Kingsley all day long, yes. I'm glad we're all on the same side, guys. I'm really glad that we all agree that Stephen Kingsley is the best thing since sliced bread. What a player, what a signing. He's got a cracking left foot, too. I can't remember the last time I've seen a Hearts left-back score two in one game, if that's ever happened at all. Honestly, what a player. We need to get him signed up. Quick reminder for you guys, if you want to get me on social media, you can find me on Twitter at Aaron Fraser 37 and on Instagram as at We Are The Gorgate Boys. Fantastic show from the men in Maroon tonight. Hearts 5, done D2. Like, all that would make my day more is a holiday goal. Like, see, like, if holiday scores this game. Like, that's all I can ask for now. Like, all, all I want is Halliday to score a goal. See if he scores a goal, it's like the perfect game. Like, honestly, I cannot stress this to you enough. Halliday scores, my night's complete. In fact, if Halliday scores, I'll neck another, I'll, I'll neck another glass of this stuff. I'll neck another glass of Iron Brew if Halliday finds a net. Whether that happens or not, it's like the 90th minute now, but see if, if he, by some miracle, finds a net. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <sighs> Come on. Come on. It's all I want. Give the ball a holiday, please. Come on. That's all I want. Hearts on the ball now. Walker feeds it to... Back to Jimmy Walker. Walker on the left. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my... No way. Holiday. Ah, no danger. <laughs> and the holiday. Holiday. And the holiday. Na, 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 na. Get that video on pronto. Oh, yes, sir! I can boogie! But I need a certain song! 
I can boogie, 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 all night long, get in there, <laughs> heart of a lonely and six, Dundee FC 2, easy as you like, and Andre Halliday scores his first goal for hearts, woohoo, get in, oh, that now means I need to drink this, oh dear, oh no, <laughs> oh, dear doctor. Right. Down the hatch. Oh, forgot to meet the mic for that one. Sorry. Let's see more Man of the Match polls. Gary Tom for Man of the Match, of course. I agree with this one. Man of the Match, Kingsway, definitely, but the whole team do deserve a lot of credit for a simply stunning performance. 6 2 Holiday, yep, happy days. What a goal. We've got Stephen Kingsley. My days are scored. Oh, ha, 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 ha. GG from Glentube. GG indeed. Honestly, Hearts have absolutely pumped on D. <laughs> I love this game. I really do. Oh, get in there. Oh, get in. I'm very emotional. I'm not quite emotional, but <laughs> I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. And that is now, Doris and Adam, absolutely seething that Andy Halliday is found in it. Easy, easy, easy. Save some for the seven. <laughs> I've got... I've only got a little bit left. Oh, no. We only bought this earlier. I'm, I'll be in trouble. When was the last time we scored six? I, I'd probably say the 10-0 count in Meath game. That's the last time I can remember Hart scoring like six goals in one game. Uh, but for the best, I've seen Hearts play for a number of years too. Oh my god, right, everybody. 6-2, <sighs> what can you say? This is, um, this is, un this is, uh, it's magic, you know. It is magic. Oh, Tim, Saturday, mate, how you doing? Up the Hearts, you know the drill. In case you've not seen the score yet, Hearts 6, done D2. This is too easy, Charlie Adam. The greeting face of a rat whips the ball into the box. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, for another goal kick. Useless. Useless. Awful. It's magic, you know who. Superb play throughout the game from Hart and Melodian. And full time. What a beautiful day. Hey, hey. Full time. Hart of Melodian. Six. That is six. Dundee FC two. What a game! What a match! What a team! What a club! Oh, I love Hartman Lothian. So I do. Maroon Taladai, good man. Thanks all. Thanks, good channel. FaZe, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you tune in for the next again stream. Great start. Nielsen needs to be mentioned. Oh, to be fair, Nielsen deserves a lot of credit for the tactics tonight. <laughs> A Nielsen masterclass. Pleasing. Very, very pleasing. Catch you after, mate. Take care. Charlie Adam was in your granddad's primary class. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. To be fair, I think I think his bud tight's bovril at this point. But, yeah. Full-time Hartman Lothian 6. Done DFC. Two, I'm going to hang out for a little bit longer, so if there's any more questions you want to get out of the before I end the podcast, feel free to do so. Wolf says, great stream. Thank you very much, Wolf. I thoroughly enjoyed it, as you can probably tell. Sorry for all the um, all the headphone warnings, but um, you should come and expect that. I'm watching Hearts. What are you expecting? I'm, of course, I'm going to be buzzing. When you win 6-2, even better. Absolutely delightful. It's too easy. Dundee are um, blown away in Gorgie. By six goals to two. Man of the match for me and for you guys, definitely Stephen Kingsley. The boy's an absolute player. A steal at only a free transfer. Stacey, ask up the score. The score was Hartford Lothian, six. 
Dundee 2. Absolutely outstanding. What performance. Row on the next game. The next game cannot come quickly enough. I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to... Um, right, just before I go, I'll describe Kingsley's second and how it is go again, please. Kingsley's second ball to the edge of the box. He just hit it absolutely beautifully. It was a rising low shot that went fire into the side netting and as for Halliday bottom of the left side footed finish in to the far corner absolutely lovely stuff Louise Shields let's go and see you later mate take care hi Stacey hope you enjoyed the stream that's plenty Jack that's plenty from you but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the broadcast thank you so much for watching tonight if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for more live streams follow my Twitter at Aaron Fraser 37 and make sure to follow my Instagram at we are the Gorgie Boys for future updates on the live streams. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed, as I said, subscribe for more. Glenn says goodbye from Spain. Thank you very much. Gracias. Muchos gracias for watching the stream. And yeah, see you later, Jack. See you later, Wolf. See you later, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you for more very soon. Until then, take care. Bye for now. See you later, guys.